as most of you know, I'm back in Shenzhen under two-week home quarantine. That gives me plenty of time to get caught up on projects. One of the things that's been causing quite a problem these days is people buying tons and tons of toilet paper. But there's a way you can cut down on that and get a lot cleaner besides. You may have seen Japanese watchlists. They are really cool but cost hundreds of dollars and very few toilets outside Japan have an electric outlet next to them. An economical alternative from Asia is what some people call the bump gun. You can find one in the West if you search online or at your local hardware store for a diaper sprayer. You still need to do one last wipe with paper when you do your business just to get all the water off. But you need a lot less paper and it's much, much more sanitary. Today, I'm going to show you how to install one yourself. It's pretty simple. One thing to keep in mind is Shenzhen is very warm. If you live someplace cold, you want to use a hot and cold water mixing valves so you don't freeze your butt off in the winter. Okay, here we go. Okay, first I'm going to wear my gloves. I tend to get scratched up and I don't want my skin <laughs> to fall off again. So it's always good to have a good pair of work gloves. And then I'm going to turn off the water and unscrew the water pipe. It might drip a little bit. You can put a towel underneath, but I don't think that's a big problem. Okay, next. Okay, I have th this T connector here. There are three holes. Uh, there are one inlet on for the wall and two outlets, one for the uh, toilet holes and the other one for the bump gun. And it's very important that this um, rubber o-ring comes in the plastic bag i don't know how it is in your country but very important to put this on the hole first otherwise it will leak so make sure you get this if it doesn't come with the t-connector okay now i'm going to put some sealant um And then I'm just going to use my finger to tie it for now. Okay, now I'm going to use the wrench and just make it a little bit snug. All right. All right, while that dries, I am going to mount this bracket on the wall to hold on to the nozzle. going to switch to the drill mode to the hammer mode. Obviously, when we go for the tile, we don't need the hammer mode, but the concrete behind it, we definitely need to use the hammer mode. So I'm gonna, going to switch it now.
Voila. Okay. All right. Now probably wait a little bit longer before I test the water. All right. It looks like it worked. But if the pressure is a little bit powerful for you, you want to turn it down a bit. That's that's okay because you can adjust the uh, where we turn on the water hose here. You can turn it back a little bit and adjust it. And then the to see if you know which it's more comfortable for you to wash your butt off. Uh, I think this is good for me now. <laughs> I hope that was useful. This is a pretty quick video because I know many of you are home right now and I just want to do my part and keep you entertained and your spirits up. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.